So right now, I don't know how to feel right now. Honestly, I don't know how to feel because, boy, we lost one 0 to Newcastle, and I believe that we played very well. I believe that it wasn't the the performance, the performance, the midfield done brilliantly, defense done brilliantly, but I believe that the, the attacking that's what let us down in this match. Saka was missing. I didn't see one thing from Saka. And, and, and Saka is starting to get on my nerves now. I respect Saka as a player. I respect him for the way he's been carrying us for, for the past few seasons. But if you're injured, sit out. I'm starting to think that Saka is intentionally playing average because he doesn't want to get injured. I think he, he's prioritising keeping fit than the team's uh, um, objectives, which is to win games. And if Arteta can't see that and get someone else in January, I don't. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start after cussing Arteta. And for me, Arteta's my favorite manager. I don't want us to get rid of Arteta, but Arteta's starting to get on my nerves in terms of the. It, it, we had the whole of summer. We got the whole summer to get a backup for Saka. At least a backup. If you don't want to get no one competitive, get at least a backup. We didn't have nobody. Now Saka is playing average. We ain't got no one to bring up for Saka. We keep keeping Saka on the pitch, and he's not doing nothing. Martinelli. I have to give him a bit of credit because at least he kept trying. He made mm -hmm. Livermento look very good, which he, Livermento is good, but he's not that good to be having Saka and Martinelli a lot. Look. So for me, Martinelli should be better in this match. He's not good enough. He kept on trying, but for me, he sh ah, Martinelli is way better than this. Now when you come on to Enketia, Enketia, he didn't do much. He didn't do much, but the fact that he didn't do much, that's what the problem is. He didn't do much wrong, I should say. But he didn't do anything right. So, mm -hmm. and Ketia, once again, have an average performance. Now, for me, the two, two best people on this pitch was Declan Rice, obviously, because he's always one of our best players. Even when he's poor, he's still one of our best players. Let me, let me I, I'm never finished with the bad players. Ben White, absolutely garbage performance. Rubbish performance by Ben White. I was so disappointed because, for me, Ben White is one of the best right back in the, in the Premier League. He's the reason why we gave away that goal. The ball, the, 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 the ball went out. Yes, we know that it went out. And I'm not even going to argue those points because we see and know that we got cheated. We all know that. But I'm not even going to argue that point. The fact of the matter is the ball went out. Now, in football, I know, I'm not a professional footballer, and even I know, always play to the whistle. Play to the whistle. Ben right there holding his hand up, looking around. Attack the ball. Close down that guy. Don't let the cross come in. Ben White been, and then after he tried to close that, it's too late. The ball came in. The ball came in. And then that's what cost the goal. People could blame Saliba. I said Saliba is not, is, is not in position because Saliba should have been marking Gordon. People could have been blaming, blaming Raya. Said Raya I might have missed that, flabbing off the ball and missed it. People could be blaming um, um, Gabriel, saying that Gabriel wasn't strong enough. But for me, it was all started with Ben. Yes, it started with Gabriel because Gabriel missed clear, um, um, he didn't clear the ball properly. He missed kicked the ball for the clearance. But when it comes down to it, in that moment, sometimes you, you need your, your team to back you up. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for Ben White not closing down that ball. So for me, Ben, and it's not just that Ben White for the whole match. This is why he got substituted. We had two big ones in Shenko, the one of the most flakiest defender we have. On a team that is attacking us. We had to do that because Ben White was so shocking. So for me, Ben White had a shocker. Saka had a shocker. Martinelli had an average match. And when I say average, it's borderline average. Because he could have been, he could have been absolutely poor today. Boring, he was trying. That's what I give him merit for. He was trying. Now, I could see, I could say that, yes, they miss Odegaard. Because Odegaard would be the creator. Odegaard would be doing the link-up play between those two. So potentially they miss Odegaard, but you can't be relying on one player to bring the team forward. Kai Havertz, for me, was absolutely superb. He was superb. Now, people might be criticizing him because mm -hmm. they're expecting him to score goal. They're expecting him to assist. But for me, that's not the that's not why he's in the team. He's in I the team to frustrate the opponents. I think I think Kai Havertz could play attacking midfield, you know. He's strong as well. You get me? But he did wind mm. up the Newcastle fan, though. You know I mean? Exactly. I'm very, I'm very disappointed with the results as well, man. But but let me say something. We played good. Obviously, I know we got our negatives. We played good. We played very intensive we, football. We did. But barring but, Saka, Martinelli, and Benoit. Everyone else played good. Mm -hmm. But, 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 but. 
we need a striker, bro. And Katia, he, he's not it, fam. I'm not convinced. We need a striker, bro. Oh, my God. We are missing Shaka. Oh, my God. We miss Shaka Who's? so much. Shaka. No, yeah, we don't miss Shaka. We don't miss Shaka. We don't miss Shaka. Shaka, fam. We don't... I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna make a video tomorrow on Monday, and I'm gonna show you why we don't we don't need Shaka, right? We, I don't believe we miss Shaka. We need a striker. That's all we need. Last season we were playing more attacking football. Yeah, we were playing more attacking, more flurry, more, more fluid, more fluid. But then we left the defense a bit open. This season, Arteta tighten up the defense, but that that's at, uh, uh, at the cost of our attacking play. So our attacking play is a lot poorer than last season. But our defensive play is a lot stronger. If you see, Newcastle wouldn't have scored today if it wasn't for a, a cheat. A, a, that's a cheat. Because yeah, I could yeah. see from where I am that the ball is out. Bro, bro, this is why I don't think, I probably, I probably not watch any more matches for the season because I think nah, the referees have got a thing against Arsenal, bro. How, how are they looking at, first of all, yeah, let me show you this, yeah. The ball went out, right? When mm. VAR was, was, was looking at the ball coming out, they skipped that. They, they, they skipped the part where the ball came out and then went into no, the then, far side. No, no they, they didn't skip that. it. They, they didn't skip it. Hear what they said. They said, um, oh, it's not enough. It's not enough evidence. They didn't have the right camera to see if the ball went out. But I, where you I am, I could, see that, I could see that the ball was out. So that's an excuse. Oh, that's a dumb excuse. Oh, bro. If they're going to rob us, if they're going to rob us, they need to find better excuses than that. That's dumb. Bro. I think last season, VAR cost us two matches. This season, more than two matches, bro. More than two matches. Uh, bro, I know we played bad, but I think there's positive to take from the bad. Arsenal, we we played good in it. We got some wanna... passengers on the team today, but at the same time, we got robbed, bro, because that was an open match. That was that was that was fluid. Is it me? Couple passengers. The match was fluid, time. not the team. Couple passengers on the seat time, but. I swapped to Declan Rice, man. My, 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 one of my favorite players on the, uh, on the pitch today. Because he played his heart. He's always. He plays always one with of his the heart, best bro. He plays yeah. with his heart. And I have to give him ratings, man. Saka, disappointed. But maybe it's because he's been playing too much matches. So I don't no, know. No, bro, I don't want to hear that. What too much matches? Too much what matches. What too much man. matches? No, rest, man. You know no, no, bro, no, no, Saka don't need rest. We need a proper cover for Saka. That's all I can say. We need a proper and cover. A cover for, need, and a cover for, 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 for Jesus as well. No, but we need a striker, bro. Full stop. Yeah. Saka, Saka is getting too complacent. And sometimes when you get two... How much is he on? 250k? About, about 200 to 250. Since he got that contract, man. No, no, it's not that, bro. It's not that because... It's, all right, it's after it's got, Today match. Today match. He's, it's not today game. match. It's, put, it's for, for the From the season starts... Yeah, he's not been a hundred percent. I could see that he's not been a hundred percent. Now, he still tried, but for the last three or four matches, he's been playing. He's not been attacking his, his players. He's not. He's not been doing the one on ones. But I think that is because he's trying to preserve his 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 his, his, his health. He's trying to preserve his gameplay in terms of he doesn't want to get injured. But, he's but, trying but, to prevent because he see that the referee is not protecting him. So he's trying to protect himself by not going into one-on-one -on -one challenges. But if he does that, it's, there's no, it's like he's not serving the point in why he's, he's in the team. If you're, not, if you're scared to go in one-on-ones, there's no point you even play. Because that's your gameplay. Your gameplay is to take people one-on-one. -on -one. If you draw a foul, you draw a foul. Now the problem is we don't have a cover in case he gets injured. So he has to now think, I don't, don't want to get injured because he might be thinking there's no one else to, to come on. There's no one else to cover me. So I can't afford to get injured. Disappointed with soccer today, bro. But we can't single nobody out, fam. It's a team. No, fam. We, we can, fam. No, 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 fam. We, we can. Out, no, 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 no. You have to because <laughs> if you, uh, you, this is the thing. When, when, when we, when we miss chances, if one person miss chances, you will single out that person and say that he's been poor. He missed about three chances. So when a player don't even do any one on one, even one one on one, you have to single him out. You have to single them out to say that you've been poor. Now, as what I'm saying, the defense was magnificent. That was a cheap goal for us, uh, and we conceded. So, the apart from that, the defense was absolutely brilliant. Saliba, brilliant. Gabriel, brilliant. Tommy Yasu, brilliant. Ben White, poor. You have to single him out. Midfield, all three or four midfielders, brilliant. Georgino, 
Everyone was criticizing him when they saw him on the team sheet. Absolutely brilliant. Havertz, my man of the match. I expected that display from, from Declan Rice. So I won't give Declan Rice the man of the match. What I didn't expect is for Havertz to play the way he played. He frustrated them. If you see, when Havertz is going for that challenge, that's a Xhaka challenge. But if that was Xhaka, that would have probably been a red card. But you see with Havertz, Havertz is a subtle player. I, I realize this, as this is why I said I need to v do a video about Havertz because I don't believe that we give you Havertz the credit he deserves. Mm -hmm. Havertz is a subtle player. He draws those subtle fouls. He does some kicks. He, he, he fouls the opponents. And because you, you don't expect that from him, you're not even going to give him a foul. You're not even going to give him a card for that because you're thinking, oh, that might be an accident because he's not that type of player. But you see, because Xhaka is aggressive. Xhaka is, his temperament is poor. So everyone expects Xhaka to lash out. But you see, when Havertz done that challenge and everyone started pushing him, it was like walking away, acting like he's scared. Mm -hmm. But when, after that, he went into challenges. Like, I love how Havertz play. He played just like Xhaka, but in the you attacking role. You play good in the attacking role. He played, play he's, always, he's always playing good for me. It's just that people want him to score goals. People want him to assist. But for me, he's very good. Can I say something to you? Can I say something yeah. to what if we buy a striker come January and put Averts behind him? Do, do you think that would make sense? As bro, I be, bro, Averts can play anywhere in the attacking role. Anywhere. Because depends on what you want for the team at that time. As what well, as well, I was saying, that Averts is the type of player is not going to give you lots of goals if he plays in midfield right now because the, the what we need from him is not that goal scoring record what we need from him is not the assists what we need for him to, is to make the midfield tight is to make the midfield aggressive and that's what he's doing that's what Xhaka was doing now we're comparing Havertz coming into a team for the first season this is the first few matches Havertz has played when you come down to Havertz he, he doesn't he doesn't keep the ball unnecessarily he gets the ball late off sometimes we criticize Martin for holding on to the ball too much too long. Saka, um, uh, uh, Odegaard for holding on to the ball too long. But you see Havertz, he doesn't do unnecessary stuff. He's direct, he's straight to the point. Give it to me, I'll give it back to someone else. Unless I get a space to drive, which I see him drive a few times in this match. So he's aggressive when it comes out to... Havertz is our second best or between our first and top duels, dual winners in our team. And that mm -hmm. has to say something. Because he's even better than Declan Rice in most matches in duels. Mm -hmm. And we're not... If you watch all my if you watch all my post and match analysis videos, you realize that when Everett's playing midfield, he's always in the top two in terms of duels, winners over Declan oh. Rice. Is him and Jesus are the best two duel winners in our team. But uh -huh. people aren't watching that. And this is why our midfield is so strong. Now, what we missed today is Odegaard, a creator. And we see when he came on against West Ham last match, he started to get back on form. But I don't know why he was injured. I don't know what injury he picked up, it, whether it's in training or whether it's in the end of that match. And if it's the end of that match, Arteta should be blamed because we already lost the match. Why are you bringing on your, you, one of your best players? You leave the, you, you save him until the next match. We've got a big match against Newcastle. You save him, man. I don't, I don't, bro. Until we get a striker, I'm not convinced that we will end up within the league this season. You know, Arsenal's a good team, obviously. We passed all of the big teams already. Who, who have we got left? Get bro, we got, all, we got all of them left, bro. We got, we, we got to play them twice. I know we, we got, got to play them, them twice. twice. But not until January times. We haven't, yeah, but, played, but, we haven't played everybody yet. You get me? Still yeah, and, and, and this, is not, this is not me being aggressive at the team or angry at the team. I'm not angry at the team. I'm angry at individuals. You see, if Saka played good and we still lost, I wouldn't be this upset. You see, if uh, Martin will play good and we lost, I wouldn't be this upset. It's, it's because I believe, I believe that they're better, bro. I believe that they're better than this. Because, look, Newcastle beat, beat City. It's right? a Champions League. It's a Champions League. Newcastle beat City as well. Yeah, bro, that's why I'm not disappointed in that. I'm not disappointed in the loss, bro. I'm disappointed in Saka and Martinelli because I didn't see nothing from them. 